All right, I'm going to do something a little different than what I normally do on the channel, and that's going to be covering the ballistic test of Teddy Roosevelt's uh, assassination attempt. Um, that was on October 14th, 1912. He was basically, um, he was in Milwaukee. He was, I think he was running for president or running and supporting somebody else or something like that. But there's a shooter, John Shank. He's mentally disturbed. And he pulled out a four-inch, I believe it's a four-inch, police positive revolver and 38 Smith & Wesson. And he took a shot at the president. And what I have for ammo is actually 38 special. I'm going to tell you why here. Uh, 38 Smith & Wesson is a 158 grain, 361 diameter bullet rated at 767 feet per second. This 38 special UMC ammo is also um, 158 grain. It's 358 diameter, almost the same. And I just fired a shot with this through the chronograph, 739 feet per second. So we're within like less than 40 feet per second difference between this and 38 Smith & Wesson. And I believe through the same barrel length. And he fired from four feet into Teddy's chest. He didn't die because the bullet did not enter his his lungs, you know, past his ribs. So basically what was going on, what saved him, is he had like a suit jacket on. I have eight layers of this cotton denim stuff here to kind of represent that. Then he had a steel eyeglass case. Now what I have, I believe, is aluminum bodied, but I don't think it'll make a huge amount of difference in this test. And the main thing was that he had a a 50 page speech that was folded in half to make 100 sheets of paper basically so i'm going to see you know what we get when i do my ballistic test with it and i'm going to compare it to something modern what if that happened in modern days where you have a 9 mm plus p from a little short you know like a g2c so it'll be an interesting t test to see what we get so I have my standard ballistic test set up here where we have three inches of, of, of clear ballistics to represent a pectoral muscle. The reason why I use three inches and not like an inch and a half like an average person is because clear ballistics is generally about half as dense as flesh. So anything you get in clear ballistics, you double it pretty much, or it's doubled. Like if you had 15 inches in clear ballistics penetration, you're normally looking at only at like seven and a half inches, something like that. So I'm gonna take this uh, this pack here, set it up here, Make a shot through it and just see what we get in our ballistic test and we'll compare it to that nine millimeter simple as that so let's get started with this test all right so i got it all situated so i'm going to go through that eight layers of shirt cotton material the eyeglass case will essentially equate to 100 sheets of paper and into my ballistic simulation human body so i have it situated so i'm four feet from the muzzle before this bullet hits so let's see what we get here All right, let's go take a look. So essentially what I got is I got a good shot placement. And I can definitely see metal down in there. In that uh, case there. And actually... Got a little rust, so that actually does seem like a little thin layer of steel case like what he had. So through there, and we went through all that paper. And what we got here, and normally I would consider that a deadly shot, but what we're seeing here is about eight and a half inches of penetration. Now, typically what we look at in ballistic testing is we want to get at least 12 inches. So that's definitely subpar performance. So it makes you wonder what would this do without this case. So let me run one right below that without the case and see how that will compare without this pack. All right, I'm just going to put one straight through there. Uh, no denim or anything like that. And just see how this would perform without that barrier there. Let's go take a look. So without that barrier, instead of that, you know, <clears throat> seven and some odd inches, what we're looking at is actually, you know, 15 and a half, which is, cons you know, considered deadly for sure. So there is definitely a difference there in what that outcome would be. So let me shoot this with the uh, nine millimeter and see how that does. All right, nine millimeter. And this is a Winchester Defender, 124 grain bonded jack of the hollow point, very modern load, so. 
Let's see what this would have done. so there's definitely a significant difference there um, <clears throat> we didn't get expansion but that's typical for when you're going through a hard barrier so with that 38 special which is our simulation for our 38 Smith & Wesson you know looks like about 80 inches there with our 9 millimeter through that short barrel we're looking at about 14 and 3 quarters a lot more damage so you know it's you can kind of see here why why this all played out the way it did. Now, I would have liked to get that bolt to stop before it went through this, but it went a little deeper and it might just be because my case on that, uh, I guess case isn't the same material exactly, but we can definitely see a difference here of how paper and an eyeglass case and little denim pretty much cut that penetration in half. So that round is half as effective as what it normally would have been. So, that's just a little interesting test I wanted to see for myself and, you know, very interesting just to kind of see how it all played out. So as always, comment, share, and like, and tell me what you think and thanks for watching.